What's up guys? I hope you guys are ready for another sound design tutorial. Let's go ahead and begin by opening up a instrument. Uh, and that instrument's gonna be our ES2 synthesizer. We're gonna select stereo. And right now we're at our factory default. So let's go ahead and change that over to our tutorial settings. And we're gonna go up to analog saw. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move this down a little bit. Cool. So uh, right now we're looking at our analog saw. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. Pretty plain, of course. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick little review on the synthesizer. So I'm gonna talk a little bit uh, a little bit about each section as we move along and as we design this sound, which is gonna be a very familiar sound uh, that you guys all heard before. Uh, you guys are gonna quickly recognize it once the sound is done. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and first talk about our global parameters, which include our glide, analog, the polyphonic, monophonic, legato, uh, voices section, and unison. Of course, our uh, filter reset and even our oscillator start. So we're going to begin by manipulating our analog right here. We're going to bring this up to around 60, or actually, I say 60, but it's actually .060. Uh, but we're going to get it as close as we can get. 59 will work just fine. Cool. We're not actually going to work with our glide, which works as portamento. Uh, it actually sounds really great when you're working in legato, but we're going to be working in polyphonic this time. So we already have that selected, which is great. And we're going to go ahead and select unison, which kind of like doubles our sound and creates a bigger sound in, I guess, our stereo space within uh, this particular synthesizer. So when you select, uh, select unison, uh, if you had six voices, it goes down to three. If you had 12, it goes down to six. You kind of get that idea. All right, awesome. Uh, next, we're going to move over to our next section in our global parameters, and we're going to select hard, which will be kind of like the onset of our oscillators. Cool. So now that we've uh, taken care of our global parameters, let's go ahead and move on to our oscillators right here, which is uh, the next part of our signal flow. And we're going to select a nice square wave. Cool. And we're going to open up oscillator number two. So you can see that actually opened up right there with a little animation there. And we're going to move this over to a square wave as well. And this section right here, what this does, it manipulates the uh, tonality. Uh, so we can drop it down 12 sem semitones, which will equal one octave. Perfect. Uh, this section right here kind of controls all three oscillators and is basically the blending of all three oscillators or as many oscillators as you have open. So if, let's say, for example, if I had oscillator number three open, if I put this somewhere towards the middle, I'd be getting a blend of all three. If this was not open at all and I put it right here, obviously I'll only be getting a blend of oscillator uh, one and two, or even if I had all three of them open and I had this, uh, I guess, uh, dialed in all the way at the top right, it looks like, it'll only be receiving a signal from oscillator number one. In this case, we want to go ahead and close oscillator number three and make a better blend of oscillator number one than two. So probably like a 60-40 as best as we can get it. Cool. So uh, that's this oscillator section. Next, we're going to move along in our signal flow to our filter. And we're not really going to do too much here. We're just going to uh, just take a little bit off of the uh, filter off of uh, our cut right here maybe around uh, dot nine. That looks great. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave uh, this at 12 decibel, and we're not gonna mess with our uh, frequency modulation on this end or the resonance. We're just gonna go ahead and keep that at zero. Cool, and this right here, if you're wondering what this is, this is basically uh, something that works similar to this blending section. If I wanted to go ahead and blend uh, the sound from filter one and two, I would keep it towards the middle. If I just want one, of course, I'll just leave it on the left side. If I only want right, I'll leave it right there, which is actually what I want to do. Perfect. Uh, next section, what we have here is our effects section. Okay, let's go ahead and hear uh, how it, our sound sounds like first. We can actually play around with this a little bit. Um, like, of course, I can add distortion if I wanted to. Uh, in fact, I want to go ahead and bring this down just a bit, maybe to about negative 10 decibels, so it's not so loud. Negative nine will do fine. Uh, right now I'm hitting up our distortion right here. And as you can tell, it got a little bit more grittier there. You can choose between different um, strengths of that distortion. 
And then of course, what you have right here is like, this sine level will work as another oscillator. So if you want it more of a deeper sub sound, you can add this uh, sign right here. If you're wearing headphones, you could definitely hear the difference when you bring it over to full. Uh, right here, we have our three uh, audio effects right here. We have chorus, flanger, and phaser, and this XY pad. And let's say if I had it on phaser, I can bring the intensity up and kind of play, play around with the X and Y pad. You can tell uh, different uh, changes within the phaser. And of course we have a low speed and a high speed. But in this case, we really don't want to use any effect for the this particular sound. So let's go ahead and bring back everything as uh, we had at the very beginning. Cool. So we're not going to use this at all, but we are going to uh, jump into our router. Now, if for this particular sound, we're going to want to go ahead and bypass these sounds. We actually don't really need, need to bypass them, but it's just a good habit um, to start out with. Okay, cool. So what this router does, it basically will uh, link up two different parts of the synthesizer together. So you have a target range and you also have a source. Uh, the source will manipulate the target. Okay, so let's go ahead and select a target, which in this case is going to be pitch one, and that's going to be affecting uh, this oscillator right here. Okay, uh, so you have pitch one, pitch two, pitch three, you know, one, two, three, get it? Cool. If you want to go ahead and select all three at once, you can do that. What well, we just want to go ahead and affect pitch number one. Cool. Our source is going to be LFO one. So our LFO right here is going to be manipulating the pitch in our oscillator number one. Awesome. So that's how this links up. That's the router. Uh, cool. Now this right here controls the uh, depth of effect and uh, I guess modulation that occurs. We're going to want to go ahead and bring this down to around 10. Oh, looks like I got, yeah, okay. Nine's fine. So we kind of have a more of a buzzier sound. Sounds great. Cool. So we're pretty much uh, done there. Let's go ahead and hear what we got here. You pretty much get the point. It's that song, TikTok by Kesha. Uh, or at least the intro part. Uh, and now you guys have that sound. If you guys want to expand on the sound, go down to your audio effects, go to dynamics, enveloper, stereo, and let's go ahead and bring up the gain to around 70, 70% that is. Great, 72 will work. And we got now we got a bit of a more punchier sound. Very nice. So of course, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, comment, subscribe, do the whole thing. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Ooh.